<laughs> oh, that's tough. <laughs> Holy crap, man. That's so sick. Today we've got something very exciting going on to the BMW M2. Before we get into that, anybody that is wondering, the S4 is still here, it's not dead. Uh, I've pretty much got the supercharger back on. There was a lot of problems going on here, which I will explain in an upcoming video. The only thing stopping me from getting this car back together is this pipe right here. Now this one attaches to the air intake. So that part is nice and easy, but the other end, I've got no idea where it goes. So we're going back through the video when we first pulled the car apart to find out where it goes. I have a feeling it goes underneath the supercharger, which means the supercharger has to come back out again. That sucks. That will all be in an upcoming video. So I just wanted to let you guys know what is going on with the Audi S4. But what we're doing today is over there. In this package is something very exciting. Ba Boom! Brand new M Performance style steering wheel. It's not genuine. So this is the wheel right here. It's very, uh, it's very exciting. This is the wheel. So this is the wheel right here. It's very nice. It's got suede stitching uh, around it. It's got carbon fiber at the bottom. And the main thing that I really like is the digital display right at the top. That is awesome. Now I've seen some of these that are very hard to install. You've got to do a lot of wiring and run cabling everywhere throughout the car, which, which I would say the genuine M Performance wheel you have to do. Um, I'm happy to do that. That's what we do for work. But this one just has an OBD connector. So you just plug a little uh, OBD plug into the port and it will connect and it will give you all of the stuff that you get. I'm not totally sure what we get. So we'll go through that when the wheel is in. But without further ado, actually before that, I'll show you what the factory wheel looks like. So this is the genuine wheel right here. Nothing wrong with it. We've got leather around the side, the buttons, little M sort of insert trim here and the airbag. Uh, nothing special, no LED up here. That's the main thing that I really want. That is what the factory wheel looks like. I'm very, very keen to get this new one in. So let's jump right into it. To start this, we will need to remove the negative terminal from the battery, but I just wanted to have a look at how this comes out. And it looks like we're going to begin right here and they're just clips. So we'll be able to use a screwdriver or something, something small to get in there and pop the airbag out and then we can disconnect the airbag. Now that's the reason you want the battery disconnected. Getting the airbag out is gonna be pretty easy, but this is where we're gonna to wanna to go ahead and take the negative terminal off the battery. Uh, if we unplug that airbag, doesn't matter what you do, it will log a airbag fault and you'll have an airbag light on the dash. The only way to clear it will be with a computer. However, if you've got the battery off, you won't have that problem. So let's do that. Okay, the negative terminal's off the battery. So now I'm just gonna start with a pick tool. We're gonna to try and remove this airbag. Okay, so getting this out is really easy. Just gonna get a flathead screwdriver in there, press. And that's it. <laughs> just release the airbag just like that. Okay, bring that around. We can pull this out now. Make sure the negative is off the battery before unplugging this. Okay. It might help to use a pick tool to get this out because the clip's quite hard to get. Um, but once that's out, set it to the side. And just a hot tip with that airbag stuff. So now that airbag is out, it's pretty much impossible for it to go off because it needs an electrical charge for the, I think it's gas that's in there. So it uses an electrical charge that ignites, airbag goes off without electricity. So without 12 volts or whatever it needs for the charge, you can throw it, do whatever you want. And really not gonna go off. You might have to chuck it in a fire or something to get it to go off. Um, so I just thought I'd let you guys know that because I was, last time I did one of these was in a C63, videos in the top right hand corner. Uh, I was freaking out about it. So I actually Googled it and then I did some research on airbags and spent the rest of that night learning about airbags. <laughs> so what we can do now is get the steering wheel off. Uh, it looks like it's a big bolt and I'll tell you what that is in about two seconds. 16 millimeter nut. We'll go straight onto that and you can undo it. If you've got a breaker bar, you can use that but I've got a, a gun, uh, like an impact drill, and I think we can get it off pretty quickly. This thing is not mucking around. No, just like that. Okay, so we got it off. Set that away. Now, before you pull it off, I'll show you this. 
Now, before you pull it off, just note everything that's going on in here. Okay, so I've got this camera footage, which is awesome. I might even take a photo of it all. Um, and also, so if you can see there, I'll try and zoom in on it. So right at the very bottom, I'll stick an arrow there. Um, you can see there's a little cutout on the stalk and there's also a, a notch on the steering wheel. So you just line them up, they're right in the middle here. Um, and that way you never have to worry about the steering wheel being off center. So that's very good about European cars that they have that feature. So once you've got a photo of all this, you can pretty much pull this off um, and just be careful of any plugs. Okay, so I can see one right here. So make sure you unplug any plugs and then you can go ahead and pull it off. So we've got the wheel out. Now what we need to do is transfer all the buttons and the brackets and everything over to the new wheel because this one's got nothing on it. And we've got two power cables here that we'll need to connect. So we'll go through and show you how and where to connect those. Um, and the other thing I wanted to show you, so these are the original paddle shifters on the back here. They're not too bad, pretty small. And these are the new ones. So they're single piece. They look really good in terms of the quality. Like they look genuine. And that's a comparison on size. So they're a lot bigger than the genuine ones as well. And they're carbon. And boom guys, there it is. This is the fun part done, or the easy part I should say. That's the old wheel, that's the old cover. This is the new wheel, so we've got the new carbon fiber cover. We've got our original buttons on there. We've got some wiring that we'll need to do. Um, we've got the LED display at the top, it's looking really, really nice. And our new shifters, which are actually very nice, a good size. So the hard part will begin now. What we need to do is take the cover off of our old airbag and put it onto, and put the new cover onto the original airbag. So, I will get that done now, and then we'll touch back when that's ready to go. All right, so just going through the airbag, that's the original cover right there. I haven't taken it off yet. We've got the new cover as well, but I wanted to show you. So the cover's held in with all these little tabs here. They're very hard to get out. So what you need to do is get a screwdriver and wedge it in behind, and then pop them out. And what you'll do, these are all released. And you can still see they're, all, they're, they're still a fair way in, so they can come out a little more, but they basically push in against the airbag here, the cover. So you need to release them, and then you can slide the whole thing out. It's a pain in the ass, it's taken a while just to get to here. All right guys, we're pretty much in. Now we've got the new cover on, that was really hard to do. Um, there's a red wire in this plug here, so you just tap on red to red. And then with the ground, I've just put a ring terminal here because that seemed to be the only ground that would work. There's a ground point right there, didn't work. Um, but that one there seems to be happy. We've got the bolt back in. We've lined up the two little notches, which is behind the bolt. And we can now sit the airbag back in and have a look at how it all works. All right guys, there it is. That is the steering wheel in. I think it looks absolutely insane. It's freaking awesome. Only downside is it just uses this OBD, so this is kind of in the way. I might just remove that little clip, uh, little cover there just for now. So that way it looks a little bit neater. Um, and yeah, so that's the LED. And then you can go ahead and, okay, you got a rev gauge and a speedometer there. You've got RPM, and I don't know what that percentage is. It says engine percentage, I don't know what that is. If you know what that is, let me know in the comments below. And we've got uh, temperature for coolant and oil. A rev meter, again. And then the kilometers with a uh, little rev meter there, and these go with the revs too. I think it's absolutely insane. It's much better than the factory wheel. Uh, these feel great. These are a lot bigger as well. We'll just pull down the driveway. So I'm interested to see how much I actually use this. But if we go, so you can see there, how fast you're going. If it had boost, that would be awesome, but it doesn't. I wonder if we could add it later. Um, yeah, I'm not sure about the boost. It would be cool if we could add that, but yeah, that is pretty much it, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I think it's awesome. It's a great addition to the car, and yeah. 
thing guys so as you go up it flashes when it's time to change gears i think that's awesome we're gonna get brandon's he hasn't seen the wheel in the car yet so we're gonna get his reaction to it i remember the old piece of junk he had so <laughs> Oh, no shit. Damn. That's slick. Wow, man. Rev it a bit. That looks incredible. Watch the wheel. <laughs> oh, that's tough. <laughs> Holy crap, man. That's so sick. That's actually incredible. And then you can incredible. go through and change all the different... Do that again. Wow. Oh, so tough. Guys, that is pretty much it for the wheel on the BMW M2. I think it came out absolutely insane. It looks awesome. I can't wait to take it for a drive. Um, I'll do an updated video on this later on to see how much I actually use that little LED thing because it could be one of those things that's a bit of a gimmick or it could be something that I look at all the time. I don't know yet. We will see. Let me know what you think of the steering wheel in the video, uh, in the video, in the comments down below. Thank you all so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel, like the video, and we'll catch you in the next one.